5.3 they're talking about the polymer okay let's see what about the polymer first one we go to introduction about the polymer polymer is a large molecule that formed by the chain of the small molecule okay the molecular unit we call it as a monomer okay polymer can uh, separate by two parts one is a natural polymer another one is a synthetic polymer okay natural polymer they exit as a naturally okay the synthetic must be man-made polymer that means already processed One of them is a simple, that means they're just one of the object. They can call it that a singular. So you can see the monomer, they're just like one of the simple of the Lego. Okay, when they join together, we call it as a polymer. So this one is a polymer of the three monomers. This one is a polymer of the five monomers. Now we can see the natural polymer. We got three types of the natural polymer. First one is a starch. Starch is a polymer. Okay, monomer to the starch is a glucose. Glucose a function to produce the energy. Okay, for the polymer, another one is a protein. Monomer for the protein, we call it as an acid amino. Okay, or you say amino acid. They build the cell and also the body tissue. And the last one is what we need to study today. There's a natural rubber. That's a polymer. Then the monomer, we call it as an isoprene. Make the rubber base structure, uh, the products. Now we're going to see the example for the synthetic polymers. We've got four sets. Okay, first one is a polythene. That's a polymer name. Okay, the monomer name, we call it as a ethin. Example, we use as a plastic bottle, plastic bag, and also the pail. Okay, the second one is a polystyrene. Okay, polystyrene, the monomer, we call it as a strain. Okay, packing container and also for the electrical equipment. Okay, number three, perspect. Okay, perspect is a metal, metal accurate. They're using for the aeroplane mirror, the window for the vehicle. And the last one is a synthetic rubber. That's a neoprene. They're using to create the glove, the tire and the shoe shock. So this one, what we need to learn today is a synthetic rubber. Okay. Okay, this one is an example for the synthetic rubber. We got polystyrene. Okay, after that we got pulse pack. Then we got synthetic rubber. And also the polyvin chloride, that's a PVC to use for the piping, water piping. Okay, now we can see the monomer and polymer. How to go to create? Okay, so the first one, when the monomer to become the polymer, they must through the process, we call it as a polymerization. Okay, polymerization means the joining the monomer through the formation of the chemical bonds. So you want to join back, you want to create the bond, you must through the chemical formation. So opposite, when the polymer want to create back to the monomer, so that means you want to breaking, breaking the bond. So this process, we call it as a depolymerization. So splitting the long chain polymer through the chemical reaction. You can see the polymerization. That means from the monomer become the polymer. So they're using the chemical formation is uh, the distillate and also plus a royal Parasite. Okay, after that they need to heating. Okay, they join together. So that means they want to combine the monomer to the polymer. It's a depolymerization. That means from the polymer, uh, polymer they want to split out. Split out become the monomer. So from here they also using the process of the chemical heating, heating the perspect. Okay, after that they come out the liquid. So this one is a distillate. They come in the liquid, they become monomer. So we call this process from the polymer to the monomer. So this one is a process for the chemical. Okay, let's see another one is a polymerization. 
they got eating monomer to become the polythene. So this one is the monomer become the polymer. So through the heat and also the pressure, okay, this one is a monomer of the same type. So from breaking the double bond, okay, let's see the bond. So this one carbon, they join with double bond. They want to break it, become single bond. So this one also is a polymerization, but we need to add one more word. There's an addition, addition for the polymerization. Okay, let's see the natural rubber. Okay, natural rubber, another name we call it as a latex. So latex is a polymer. So the monomer, we call it as an isoprene. So what's the characteristic for the latex? First one, there's an elastic. They're able to return to the original shape. Number two, there's a poor heat conductor. So that means after you heat, they will melt. Okay, number three, there's an electrical insulator. They do not conduct electricity. Then there's an insoluble in the water. They cannot join together with the water. Then the low melting point. That means they're easy to melt. And the last one, there's a soft and also there's a sticky. Okay, we go to the action of acid and also alkaline on the latex. So that means the latex molecule, first one, we can see the structure. There's a cover with the protein membrane. A protein membrane at the surrounded. Okay, after that, the surrounded protein membrane, they got negative charge. So if everyone also negative charge, means they will repel each other. So the latex molecule, they will repel each other. So the latex, they cannot join together. So they're still in a liquid form. Okay, they do not combine together. So they will become the liquid form. Okay, now the situation we need to add the acid. We also need add the alkaline. So later we see what will happen after we add these two things inside the latex. First one, we go to add the acid inside the latex. Okay, now you see when I add the acid, acid inside got positive charge. They got hydrogen ions. So after that, when I just add, you find it the positive they will go to find the negative from the membrane protein so when they find the membrane protein you find it become neutralized they become neutral so the negative charge around the protein membrane they will lost because already neutralized so from here both also don't have any negative charge so what happened without the negative charge the rubber molecule they will collide to each other when they collide to each other, that means the protein membrane they will break. Okay, they collide each other, they will break out. Then after that, the chain of the rubber polymer now is free to coagulate to form the solid lump. That means now they will join together because they don't have anything to cover to cover the polymer. After that, they will join together, become the big size. When they join together, become the big size, we call it as a coagulate. After that, they become the solid. They will stick together. After that, they become the solid. When you add the acid. Now the action, we put the alkaline. Okay, they already become the solid. You want to make it to separate. What you need to do, you need to put the alkaline. Okay, let's see when I put the alkaline. Alkaline produce is a hydroxide ions. Hydroxide ion is a negative charge. So when the alkaline you add inside together with the just now the latex you find it they will neutralize again the hydrogen from the acid just now hydrogen is a positive is it so now they neutral neutralize again the positive so now without the acid ready now the all the positive charge no more negative charge will remain on the protein membrane so all will be go back to the original there's a negative membrane protein so last one, the rubber molecule will repel each other. They will repel to each other already because now all is a negative charge. So the rubber molecule will not coagulate and remain the solid form. So that means they create the protein membrane and also negative. Then they will separate again one by one. So become solid again. Okay, let's see this part. This one is a volcanization 
of the rubber. Okay, let's see the structure. When starting this one, it's a natural rubber. There's a latex. Okay, can you see they're just a single line? Okay, now we need to create a vulcanization of the rubber. So first one, vulcanization of the rubber means they can improve the properties of the rubber. So natural rubber, there's a weak. So from here, we need to create the vulcanization of the rubber. We want to make the properties of the rubber become more stronger. So from here, we need to add about the sulfur. After we add the sulfur, can you see the part? They got joining link. The link they got joined by together with the sulfur at the middle. So from here, we find it the link now becomes stronger. Okay, let's see here. Volcanization is a process. They want to heating the rubber with the sulfur. So we add the sulfur, after that we need to heat. So the sulfur atom will add to the chain of the natural rubber polymer molecule. So the sulfur we put in, then join it together with the link. So you'll find it now the wall canalization become more stronger. Okay, let's see this part. We got chain natural rubber polymer. After we add the sulfur, they become the recognized rubber. So uh, you can see about the rubber obtained through this one process, we call it as a recognized rubber, the process name. Eh? Okay, after you add the sulfur, you find it called cross link. Cross link between the natural rubber molecule are formed. So this one link, they make it become stronger, more heat resistant and also more elastic. And now we need to go is the uh, properties of the vulcanized rubber. Okay, we got what characteristic after we add the sulfur. So the first one, hard and more elastic. So that means they will be better than the normal uh, rubber. So the second one is good electrical insulator. Okay, number three, there's a difficult to oxidize in the A. Number four is does not react with the acid and also alkaline. Okay, number four is not permeable to the liquid and also the A. That means there is a, a waterproof. And the last one is a resistant to the heat. So this one is what the reason why we need to vulcanize the rubber. They make it become more stronger. Okay, this one is an example item they make from the recognized rubber. So from here, we can see we got tire, we got seashore, we got water shoe, piping, uh, rubber band, the glove, and also the raincoat. So this all is a more stronger compared to the natural rubber. So this one is called recognized rubber after process by adding the sulfur. So this one is uh, what I want to show for this topic 9.3 polymer. Hope you are understand about this. It's a exercise you need to do. There's a formative practice 9.3. So you copy the answer and also the question in your textbook or you say full scale paper. Uh, from the page from the textbook, there's a 198. Okay, hope you can finish it. So I will discuss about the answer 9.2 and 9.3 together. Thank you. Thank you for your watching.